Hi everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to Greenlight the Day. I am your Monday vlogger Kelly and I am going to be reading from my book, The Woman's Book of Confidence. And this excerpt is going to be about acceptance. Accepting what is. I find that it is not the circumstances in which we are placed, but the spirit in which we meet, meet them that constitutes our comfort by Elizabeth King. When we can adopt the following simple but profound prayer as our life's creed, we epitomize acceptance in its healthiest form. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Acceptance is a difficult lesson to learn. There are always conditions in our lives over which we have no control, and we can get stuck believing that circumstances should be a certain way in order to be acceptable, or that people must act in a prescribed fashion before we can find them acceptable. Caught in the intolerance of our shoulds and have tos, acceptance is canceled out. When we clutch resistance tightly to our chests and vow we'll never accept thus and so, we cement ourselves into the situation, attitude, or pain. The acceptance I am taking, excuse me, the acceptance I am talking about is not giving up or lapsing into hopeless resignation. It is having the wisdom to know when to say, ah, this is how it is. How can I have the peace of mind in the face of this? I often say, um, I was a shop steward for a while at work, and, uh, you know, work ha is very difficult and hostile. And I used to often say to my coworkers, these are the rules we need to learn how to play within them. Um, sometimes that's the case. I find myself reciting this serenity prayer probably about 20 times a day. I have it everywhere in my home. Um, often just asking to know the difference of what's in my control and what is not. Sometimes just identifying that is enough for me. So, um, I had a very difficult weekend. I will not go into details, but I just feel like I'm on the fence, or maybe a better analogy is that I'm at a fork in the road on my life's journey. And there is no right or wrong path to take just both drastically different. So I just find myself reciting the serenity prayer often and trying to be as true to myself as I can. Digging deep and being honest with my authentic self. And that's not always easy uh, because I wear a lot of different hats as a mom, co-worker, wife, sibling, neighbor, friend. But uh, the one I really need to focus on right now is the one in the mirror and just stripping it down and finding out what it is that I need. Whew, boy, that was deep. Okay, I am sure that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to all of you and I'm sorry for that, but um, it does to me, and I know I'll 
have to watch this quite a few times. So hopefully the reading you enjoyed and this wasn't too cryptic. I hope you all have a great week. Hope you had a great holiday weekend and enjoy November. Have a great week, guys. Bye.